What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I got three sneaker packages in the mail, all of which I'm pretty excited about, so why don't we open these guys up and see what we've got. All of these packages come from different places, I don't totally remember where each one came from because I ripped off the labels, I mean obviously we know where this one came from because of that stupid Nike printing on the side and the stupid tape, but it is what it is. So aside from obviously the Nike.com box, we've got a box from Foot Locker which I mean looks to be destroyed which is really frustrating, and then also a box from I believe StockX. So let's I actually save these two for last because I think these guys will be better later on in the video. So, this first box is from Foot Locker, like I mentioned, and UPS really uh, did a number on it. Um, I'm not sure why they would do this to me, maybe it's because that Adidas box I got was so heavy and I made a joke about them destroying my boxes and then they literally did. So karma apparently is a bitch. I don't know, it just looks like a heavier box fell on top of it or maybe someone stomped on it. Um, I just hope the box inside is okay because this is a pair of shoes I'm keeping for myself that I'm very excited about. So uh, I guess we'll just have to open it up and find out. So moment of truth, here we go. Okay, and inside we have eh, a relatively damaged box. So we've got this card from Foot Locker it says 25% off your next purchase of $125 or more. Probably won't use that, even though I should definitely try and remember to, but I'll forget. So here's the box. It is, I mean, I wouldn't call that lightly damaged. I would say that's heavily damaged. It's not like completely destroyed, but uh, it's not in great condition. But um, this is obviously a red Nike box, and if you guys know red Nike boxes, it could be well, a lot of different things, actually. But this shoe costs 140 bucks. It's a Nike Air Max. Knowing what you guys know about the releases that happened last weekend, you probably know what it is already, but this is the shoe that I'm very excited for and one that I've been waiting for for a while. So let's pop this guy open and see what we've got. Okay, okay, looking good. Looking very good. These are really cool in person. I really like these. They are a little bit different in person. Um, some of the materials aren't exactly what I thought they would be, but Still feels pretty nice. So this is Sacramento Kings De'Aaron Fox's collaboration with Nike on the Air Max One, the Swipe a Collab, because that's his nickname. I think it's really cool that there's an NBA player who's actually doing a collab with Nike rather than like just coming out with their own signature performance model. And I know this is not the only collab that's coming out. I believe there's also one coming out for Jason Tatum and uh, Devin Booker. But out of the three collabs that we're dropping, this one was by far my favorite because I love the Air Max One. Um, and I love the mismatched almost uh, like what the colorway that's going on. I think he did a great job. De'Aaron Fox is the point guard for the Sacramento Kings. He also has a YouTube channel, which I've been watching and really enjoying. So De'Aaron Fox, if you ever want to come on my show, not that I really have a show, I don't know. If you ever want to collab, I guess, hit me up. But no, these are sick. I really like the way that they look. One thing that's actually surprising me now that I'm seeing them in person is that I thought this pattern on the mud guard was synthetic stingray. Um, which they've used on a lot of different shoes, like the OVOs and things like that. But on this shoe, it is just literally a print on the uh, the leather mudguard, which is fine, but um, it's not what it appears to be. So it kind of feels like Nike cheaped out a little bit in that material, but still looks good. Of course, you've got the mismatched upper with the orange and blue on this side, and the, I guess, light blue and red on this side. You've got his number five there on the tongue, and then the equations on the insole. From what I've read, the reason there are equations on the insole is because De'Aaron Fox loves astronomy, so that's why we've got those equations. Um, the color scheme apparently is heavily inspired by planets, which I think is pretty cool. This is a really dope collab, and it's cool that it is a collab and not just like a, a Nike colorway. I really like that they really tied a name to it. Like you've got his uh, nickname on the back, Swipa, and it actually also looks like there's some 3M around the ankle too, which I didn't know about. I think that's pretty cool. It looks like you've got a pretty standard black Air Max 1 outsole, Pretty standard white midsole. Overall, I really like these shoes a lot. I think these are really clean and probably, I'm gonna say it, one of my favorite, if not my favorite Air Max One drop of this year. I love the uh, the ones that dropped earlier that everyone was getting hyped over. I thought those were great. Um, what were those called? The Susans? But these Swipa Air Max Ones are more my style. I think I would rock these more. They feel a little bit easier to rock, um, so I'm pretty hyped about these. And this is actually a shoe that I'm probably gonna throw on feet as soon as possible. I think these are awesome. It just kinda sucks that the box was damaged from Foot Locker. So thank you, UPS or Foot Locker. So next up, we've got a package from StockX. And this is a pair of shoes that I've actually already done a review for. This pair is for somebody else. It's actually for a giveaway winner. So I'm gonna unbox it for you guys and then ship it off tomorrow to the winner. So let's take a look. So you guys can probably already see from the top of the box, 350. So I'm sure you guys already know what this is. Also, I gotta say that they found a box to fit this 350 box perfectly. 
Like, the sides match up perfectly. The top is completely flush with the top of this box. That's nuts. I guess they ship a lot of 350s, so it makes sense that they would grab a box that fits the 350s perfectly, but still, kind of surprising. Let's pop these guys open. We've got the StockX thing that says thank you for buying and stuff like that. I don't know what it says. Not sponsored, by the way. And uh, let's get to the shoes. Here we go, and the shoes themselves. These, of course, are the Yeezy 350 Glows, and this is a size, what size did the winner pick? Size 10 and a half US. So this is his size. I'll be shipping these to the Philippines because that's where he's from tomorrow, and uh, not too excited about the shipping costs. They're definitely not cheap shipping to the Philippines, but it is what it is. This pair is obviously for the Yeezy 350 Glow giveaway winner from the Yeezy 350 Glow review. I do really like the 350 Glows, but it's not a pair that I would really ever wear that often, so it's not a pair that I personally feel like I need. But one thing I do have to say is that in my review for the 350 Glows, I said that the upper didn't glow, and to be completely honest, I didn't think it did. I had taken the shoe outside, I had uh, sat it in front of the LED lights, and I thought I saw the upper glowing, but I just assumed it was residual glow from the midsole because the midsole glows so bright. Um, but apparently it does. And uh, I had already gotten rid of my pair by that point, so I couldn't double check, but it does. Very, very dimly, in my opinion, and for not very long after you charge it, but it does glow. And the good people over at Yeezy Mafia decided to call me out. I actually missed the whole Twitter interaction because I was flying back from Asia on a 15 hour flight and there was a bunch of people commenting on their page saying that I had said that it didn't glow and that they were wrong, which I appreciate the loyalty, but <clears throat> in the end they were right. And they commented in someone's post saying, tell Seth Rogen to learn how to charge his shoes or something kind of dumb like that. To be fair, I do appreciate the comparison to Seth Rogen. I think he's a great guy and that's awesome. But uh, as comebacks go, not great, not the best. And I guess they either realized that or they felt bad about it, so they deleted their tweet before I landed. But someone actually screenshotted it and sent it to me, and that's how I found out. But I do have to admit when I'm wrong, and I was wrong in that situation. So, uh, Yeezy Mafia, you win this time. I don't think we have beef or anything, so I don't... But that's all I've really got to say about the Yeezy 350 Glow. Congratulations again to the winner, and I will be shipping this pair to you tomorrow. So this pair of shoes randomly dropped on Sunday morning, and it was not a pair of shoes I was planning to buy. Um, but I was kind of like really interested as to what would be different about it. And since hearing about the drop and since researching more, it turns out there's not too much different about the shoe than the original shoe. So that's probably a big hint for you guys. You guys probably already know what it is. I'm not totally sure what I'm going to do with this shoe yet because I'm not a huge fan of the team represented on the colorway. And uh, the actual person who signed the shoe or whose signature is on the shoe, nothing against them but they have been pissing me off a little bit in this series. So, <laughs> for that reason, I may or may not keep these. I'm not sure yet, but uh, why don't we unbox these guys and see what we have. So, as you can tell from the top of the box, this is an Air Jordan 4. You can see the splatter print around the outside of the box. This pair retailed for $200, which is... Why are there two labels on this? But for whatever reason, there is a second label on top of the first label. And I know it's legit, though, because it's actually from Nike, so... I don't know what the deal is with that. So let's pop this guy open. See what we've got. Pretty much what I expected. So this is the Raptors Air Jordan 4. It's exactly the same as the pair that released last year, except for Drake's signature on the tongue. That's the only difference. It's exactly the same otherwise. I passed on the original Raptors 4s last year when they dropped because I don't mind the colorway, but I'm not a fan of the Raptors and I just didn't need to spend the money on it. Um, but for whatever reason, Thinking that, you know, it was in some way associated with OVO, I was suckered into buying it. And it was like a shock drop too, so I, I just took my chances and uh, and bought it. And I don't know if I regret it yet. We'll just have to wait and see if I decide to wear it or not. Now there were some rumors about this being the original release and then it getting scrapped. And I want to see what the production dates for this were. No way. Okay, so that might explain why the tag was ripped off. Because this shoe was actually produced from November 20th, 2017 to February 5th, 2018. So this actually was the original release, and the reason that they scrapped it, or the reason they didn't release it at first, is because Drake left Jordan brand. And now that he's back with Nike, I guess they just felt like it was time to drop it. So they must have had these sitting in storage for months, almost a year at this point, or over a year now. I mean, I guess these are cool, the colorway isn't bad. You've got like a black nubuck upper, you've got this sort of orangey red accent all the way around the shoe, and you've got purple accents. I mean, it's not a bad colorway at all, um, but Drake's signature is so small and inconsequential, it's just kind of like, eh. If these had never released to the public and someone had gotten their hands on a pair of these, like, uh, when they were in the warehouse, I'm sure that pair would have gone for crazy money. 
because it's a, a shoe that just was never supposed to drop. Kind of like the um, the Red October Yeezy 2s, where Kanye had already left Nike by that point, but they still dropped him anyway, like as a shock drop. This is sort of the same thing, except much less hyped. So I guess the story behind this is pretty cool, the fact that they actually scrapped these when Drake left and then brought them back when he came back. I wonder how limited these guys actually are because they didn't sell out right away. And I think the reason that they didn't is because a lot of people just thought they were the standard Raptors 4 and didn't realize that these were actually the Drake Raptors 4. I won't be trying these on because I'm not sure if I'm gonna return these or sell these or keep these yet. So these are just gonna be sitting in the box until we find out whether the Raptors win the uh, finals or not. Because if they do, the price of these are gonna skyrocket. If they don't, um, then maybe I'll return them. I, I don't know. I'm not a Raptors fan. I don't even know why I bought these. They're fine. They're I shouldn't be hating on them. They're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. They're good shoes. If you don't have a pair of Raptors 4s and you missed out on the original Raptors 4s, these are a cool way to go. Now, they are out of stock, so you will have to pay resale, which is more expensive than the standard Raptors 4s, but if the story about how Drake leaving Jordan Brand and these getting scrapped is really interesting to you, maybe these guys are worth picking up. If you're a big Drake fan, again, maybe these are worth picking up. But other than that, they're not that special. They're not really anything I feel like that I need. But that pretty much wraps up the unboxing for today. Now, I would love to know your thoughts on these three sneakers and which one you like best. So make sure to leave those comments in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.